Sierra Miles would maybe help us a little bit. A one six should be on the outside this time. Closed, the road's closed. What's up everybody, this is Car Inside. Decided to do something a little different. I've been playing around with the AI and the Super Lake models since iRacing released these Super Lake models um, to the AI. Um, decided to start a season. I've done about 15, 16 races in this season. Got the difficulty set to like 72 to 87, something around there, about a 15 point span. So I'm gonna goof off a little bit here and there whenever I have a chance to run a couple of these races and drop the videos. Um, this is race number one of the season here at Rockingham. If you haven't checked them out, you should definitely come to Rockingham and drive these super late. They have a very fun setup. Very fun. Very slick. Very bouncy. It is a absolute blast. I love these super late models, but I'm just very bad at them. And I feel like I get run over whenever I go to super late model races in the online lobbies because I'm just really slow and in the way. So this is kind of a fun way to get to still race these things and do them in the do them in the uh, AI lobbies. Got 70 laps. I am using just the generic fixed setup that iRacing provides for these cars. I've not done anything to them. So let's we'll see if we can't just keep the fenders on it. Have a solid little run here. Maybe get up there and compete for the win. Just hold on to it early on while it's slick and then start moving later.
four, five. are already starting to absolutely just fall off of these things after no time <clears throat> 24.998 inside quarter Still inside. trying to pinch Bubba down here gosh really working the wheel coming off of two Really moving the wheel a lot more now. Oh my goodness, can't power down off the bottom of two. Gonna have to try to clear him into one. My goodness. 
5.549. Try to go clear in here. I can't. Oh my gosh. I just can't clear him to where I can slide up. Let's see if I can't get to his outside. Uh oh, here we go. He's going to leave it open. Yep, I'm going to do the same thing to him now. You can hear that throttle hesitation coming through too. Even when I stay in it, you can hear the rear wheel spinning. Just a whoo, whoo, whoo. Thing just does not want to put the power down there now. His tires are gone. The left, uh, left rear is absolutely gone. Listen to it here. You hear that flutter? Even I was still in it. So you can only imagine when you got somebody pinching you just how hard it is. You really do have to lift it in. Uh oh, man. Barry was bouncing. Got a good run here. Let's see if we can't pinch him down. Roll the top. Can't quite. Yeah, I think we're gonna clear in here. Still there. Clear, clear, clear. Twenty-five point seven four. Right, now we're just gonna get down. Second. There you go. Sterling Marlin, man, he is gone, man, on a mission. Sterling Marlin says he's back in his prime. Catch me if you can. Almost halfway here. Only thing is I fear that I've used up most of my stuff passing. I think I fell back to about 10, so I've passed a good 9 or 10 cars since the start of this thing. Although Cuckoo Jr. out there has been running away with it. I think we might be a little faster than the AI is right now with tire management. I'm not sure if they, what their tire limit is, how good they can save tires, we'll find out. But I think at least for this track it may right now appear that whatever I'm doing is better on tires than what they do. We'll see as this run goes on and we catch lap traffic how how good we can manage lap traffic because by the time I catch Marlin we're going to be pretty close to the tail end of this field.
really picked up a push to three and four the last couple laps. Matter of fact, I've picked up a push about the whole track. Coming through here, once I enter here, it's hard to get the car to want to rotate back down. I just, I'm pushing off here. Doing a great job, buddy. Just a little past halfway. Make sure you're getting something to drink. I'm sure there's something that I could do to gain a little on in there. Just haven't figured it out yet. Still so slick coming off a of two. Here we go. What did I do though? I slow down through that corner a little earlier, use a little more brake. I don't know if it's faster, but I feel like it's, it's not pushing the tire limit near as much. I feel like it's a little smoother drive off, a little more natural to where I'm actually leading the car to the wall rather than it pulling me out there. So I'll feel it out and see if it's something that I like. Ah, here we go again. I don't know. It's really, really pushing to the wall. left and there's 25 laps left in this tank we're gonna have to pit we're gonna ride it out we're gonna see what they do I've got unlimited fast repairs on. I'm going to have to fix that. Alright, let's go. 27 laps left. Yeah, we're going to have to pit. So we'll see. We'll watch for Marlin to pit and we'll go in.
thing I wonder is will they take fuel only or will they take tires? Killed our momentum there. He was able to slide up the track in front of us. Are you serious? Like I said, don't want to be here. Even with the AI. And we just got destroyed. Well. If we can keep this motor from blowing, we got a fast repair that we will use, we'll take tires, and we'll we'll get rid of fast repairs next race. Pit road is, pit road is open. So they're not pit. What is going on? The leader's not pitting. Hey, there was my pit stall. Thought I got the pole. Yeah. You'd have a lot of problems. Yeah, thank yep. you, Chad. I'm confused why they're not pitting. This is going to get interesting. Go back, go, go back, go. Hard, hard, hard. Eighty-seven. Get the lucky dog. Coming to the outside. Coming outside. Maybe lining up behind him. Twenty-one. All right, buddy. Line up behind him. Five. Line up behind him. Ninety. What is this guy? <laughs> All right, buddy. 94 just 90. drilled us. Oh my goodness. Line up behind five. So how many cars are on the lead lap here? We're going to be the tail end of it. 21st. But we got new tires. But the guys in front of us have new tires. But the guys in front of them don't. This is going to get crazy these last 15 laps. <coughs> So yeah, I got a speeding penalty. So that's why I had to move for the tail. Are they gonna pit here? No, they're not. They're staying out. Are they gonna make it? It's crazy. 
crazy. Yeah, so that's one thing about the AI is you go three wide like that. You're lap down. Or they are a lap down. Your lead lap car, they they won't. They won't budge. They'll just, they'll just run over you, like you seen there. Okay. <laughs> 15 laps, got a long way to go, even if we are on new tires. The only advantage is the fact that all the guys up front are on old tires, but it's going to get chaotic. Even for the AI, this is going to get wild. We're just going to have to pass everybody. Simple. Probably going to crash, need another fast repair. We're lucky we didn't blow up. We got absolutely drilled there by somebody. I'll have to go back and watch that. Yeah, just made the, the made the comment about well. not not needing those fast repairs. That's funny. We just used one. Here we go. Hey, cars off. Be ready. Be ready. Green flag. Everybody's rolling. Lap cars in front of you. One minute three point one three six. Pearl, let's get along up with these lappers. Step four. Inside. In and out. Still there. Inside only. Still inside. Working arm up in front of you. Still there. Two wide inside. 25.5. Six, eight. One inside. Only one. Still inside. Clear. I don't know who's checking up, but it's about to kill us all. Car down there on the bottom on old tires. Got the whole inside line stacked up. Really no choice here but to rip the fence. Got so many stacked up on the bottom. There's really nowhere to go without getting held up. New tires are going to prevail here. Alright, be smart. I'm wanting to get greedy and take them three wide. Oh yeah, we got 10 laps. Still there. I don't understand why they didn't pit up front. Clear. <clears throat> inside, inside. 24.405. Still there. Still with you inside. I know Haley Deegan pitted. She was behind me. Stephen Wallace, I think he pitted. They're on new tires. Nasty, he didn't pit. Tasha Comer, I wonder if she pitted. Sterling Marlin is out front, still holding on to this lead with new tires behind him. Oh goodness, very loose. Outside. Working the outside. All clear. One inside. Still inside. 24 points. Four, one, one. And both lane, we up there in the high rent distance. Get it on. Clear. Inside. Oh, Inside. yeah. Stay on it. Clear low. You're mine, Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a shame. I don't know if I could have got around him if he was on the same tires. I kind of wish we were, just to see. Oh my goodness, he checked up big. Twenty-four, five, five, one, five left to 
go this time. Inside. Clear, clear, good job. Inside. Go inside. Clear, clear. Inside. Oh, I took a bad line. He's battling back. Still there. 24.882. Clear. Damn nice work, boss man. Inside. Still there. Still there. Clear, clear. Inside. Still inside. Whoa. He is on my right rear, left rear. It did not show contact, but he hit me. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, we finally cleared him. Oh my goodness. I gotta go back and watch that. It was like slap 67, 68. He didn't show contact up at the top, but man alive. He got back into my car. It felt like it was jacked up. I don't know if I was spinning. If what? Poor old Sterling, gonna lead that whole thing and then lose to clean fresh tires and a fast repair. White flag, one more lap. 5-dub. Well, this could be some fun. I just hope there's a little better logic going forward. Those guys pit for tires. But, which, hey, he almost made it work. Stephen Wallace and Haley Deegan were the two that were the first on pit road to get new tires, and he held on to them. So. They, they're light on fuel, man. They're, uh, they're counting on cautions or... They made a mistake and didn't get all the fuel in there, like maybe they dropped on lugs, or they're just getting that good of fuel mileage. I wish I could tell you, buddy. I really, really would like to know that. Okay, there's some people still completing their race here. We're just doing a burnout. Burn out for the fake win. Let's go watch. What did I say? 67? Here, it felt like he hit me. No, he wasn't even near me, but I guess I spin it. Oh, man. Alright, let's go back. See how bad that was my fault getting dumped. come up oh whew. hard hit oh my gosh <laughs> dukes of hazard Oh, that's hilarious. Just annihilated. Boom! <laughs> oh, goodness. This absolute madness on the restart. Hit the apron there. 
thought I lost it. Yeah, they just checked up. That ain't the big checkup, though. Here comes the big one. I thought for sure I was done for there. <laughs> I don't know why they just stopped going into the corners. Let's see. There was another one there. They slowed down. Yeah, them old tires being on the bottom like that, I mean, you could just pinch them down there. I mean, it was already bad enough that you could pinch anybody down there and keep them from passing you. But when the tires got like that, it was just way worse. And then we left old Marlin. About dumped him right here. Whoa! Look at the hands working inside that car. Cuckoo Marlin. Just about got him one. Alright guys, well, I think... I think I put five flags as the next race on the schedule. I kind of just went our, along all of the East Coast short track races and kind of making a line, just going to them in order from south to north or north to south or however and then coming back to North Carolina something I, I don't know well I'll take a look at it and see but I think the next one will be five flags whenever I run that one and post it so there you have it let me know if you enjoy this um, I'll try to figure out a way to kind of show the point standings if I if I do continue to run but more or less just having fun here with these super late models and uh, this was Rockingham so guys would hit the like button hit the subscribe button and we will see you all next time